Here's a second wool body fly that uh, seems to work really well for me here in uh, southeast Idaho. Again, it doesn't really have a name. Um, it doesn't really need one to work well. So again, I use a European competition hook. This is red, a dot, thread. And I am using Utah Killer Bug um, yarn, so um, Shetland Spindrift Oyster. Um, it seems to work extraordinarily well. Take it all the way to the back. Now sometimes I will put a little gold wire tag back there, particularly if I put extra weight. But in this example I'm not uh, doing that right now. Put a couple half hitches in to anchor the thread. Bring up your um, bobbin anchor and use your rotary vise to just tie on the thread. Now you can do this a little thicker. Um, one layer works fine, but you can go back over it and build it up just a little bit if you, if you so desire. Um, it's not absolutely required for this fly. Get it so that there's a nice body and tie it off. Again, throw a half itch in there just to anchor that. For this fly, for the hackle, I use a standard black hackle. Strip it back. Again, I tie it so that the uh, dull part is back backwards. Tie it in. Throw a half hitch in or two to anchor your thread for the rotary tool. Hang it. Clip your hackle. And spin it once, twice. It's plenty enough. These are sparse hackled flies. Tie your hackling off. Just three times is all that's needed. Put the thread behind your finger and then cut it off. And then tie the eye down, or the head down. And then uh, whip finish it. I do two whip finishes on my flies um, instead of doing um, head cement. Cut the thread. Trim some of these errant. And uh, there's the fly. Again, very effective. I'm sure it's not any more effective than just the standard Utah killer bug, but uh, seems to work well for me all the time.